one. And so it's, it's actually a very deep thing. I wanted to add, when Dr. Almar was written up there that the Qur'an is both created and uncreated, we do not say that except in teaching uh, format. It is actually prohibited by the ulama and it is lack of adab to the book of Allah except in explaining that there is a created aspect and that is what we recite and what we read but we still understand that the Qur'an and we say Al-Qur'an Karamullah ghayru makhluq the Qur'an is the word, the speech of Allah and it is uncreated and we believe that this is in order to free us from what Montgomery Watts so cleverly called imbibliation um, God becoming book and he used that as a, as a way of approximating Muslim understanding to incarnation God becoming flesh so that is in order to avoid that type of misunderstanding that the Quran when we say it's uncreated attribute of God that's the point but you don't go out and go to the mosque and say did you know the Quran was both uncreated and created because you might get punched and there's no point in going into these, these are not points that we should even be talking about other than for ta'aleem in order that you don't get confused because a lot of Muslims have never understood that. What do we mean by that? And so what Dr. Omar did is he clarified what the traditional position is and that is the Sunni position that is agreed upon by the overwhelming majority of Sunni scholars. Jazakumullah <laughs>